Hello, sir. Hi, sir. Hello. So, you are representing Mitkan Institute of Business School, right, sir? So, Mitkan is a pioneer for agri business management program. And uh, so, when compared with other business schools, how uh, Mitkan is uh, different? Okay. Mitkan Institute of Management started agri business management course in year 2006. Mm -hmm. Even I would like to tell you one thing that we are the pioneer in agri business management because firstly, we have started this course in agri business management in Pune. Mm -hmm. And Pune is known as an industry hub and even the Oxford of East. So agriculture is the field where there are plenty of opportunities. Even 20% of the Indian GDP is depends on agriculture. True. It is the tradition that 70% of the agri population uh, is depends on agriculture. Mm -hmm. So in the view of that, we have started this agribusiness management course in Pune mm -hmm. and our syllabus is industry oriented. There are mm -hmm. two sectors in agriculture, input sector and output sector. There mm -hmm. are uh, companies, those who are related to input sector, such as uh, the seed companies, pesticide companies, fertilizer companies, agrochemical companies and there are few companies which are related to output sector mm -hmm. such as there are food processing companies, export companies, there are the banks who, which are related to agriculture. Mm -hmm. So by studying of all these things we have started this course and we are different from the other institutes offering agribusiness management course is we are uh, offering the quality education, we are mm -hmm. offering the quality placements and our curriculum is designed and divided in three parts. Mm -hmm. The first part is the technical agriculture subjects. The subjects, the student uh, already uh, gone through their BSc agriculture. We are giving them the advanced education in terms of the technical subjects such as post harvest production management, marketing okay. of agriculture input marketing of agriculture output, then rural credit and agriculture finance, then mm -hmm. agriculture business analytics. So these are the subjects that are not in the syllabus of BS agriculture. We are teaching them in the agribusiness management course as a post graduation course. Right. Priya, a lot of BSc agriculture graduates after their completion of graduation, they opt for MSc agriculture in a traditional way. After mm. BSc, they will think that MSc is the only option. Right. And from the last seven to eight years, a lot of students are showing interest for agribusiness management program. May you know why students are opting for agribusiness management recent times? Uh, this is a paradigm shift. Actually, traditionally, the student think of going for MSc agriculture. Yeah. But if you see the statistics, the number of seats available and the number of applicants, there is a huge gap. So mm -hmm. there is a gap between the expectation and reality. So the number of seats for MSc agriculture are very less and the number of applicants are very more. Mm -hmm. So it is not possible for each student to get the admission for MSc agriculture. Mm -hmm. So the student think of uh, the competitive examination, the student think of the uh, business, the student right. think of to get job after agriculture. But mm -hmm. see, agribusiness management is a course which is a very simple way to get in the corporate world. So if they think about agribusiness management, they can easily enter in the agriculture companies. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, if you uh, see that many foreign companies are investing in agriculture, even mm -hmm. recently I got to know that uh, TCS is the company which is in information technology. They are mm -hmm. investing a lot in agriculture. Even Ninja Card is the company which is the sister concern of Infosys. Uh, mm -hmm. The company is owned by Naran Murthy. They are investing in agriculture mm -hmm. because they know that agriculture is the future and agriculture is having vast opportunity. And the students, the student, those who are taken BS agriculture as a career option, I, I must congratulate them that you are at the right direction because the companies need the talent and the talent is available with the blend of BSA agriculture plus agribusiness management. So the tradition of MSC agriculture is already gone. Now the students are thinking about agribusiness management as their career option. Superb sir. And a lot of BSC agriculture candidates, you know, they will be asking about ICAR accreditation. And when it comes to agribusiness management also, students will be asking whether the institution is having ICR accreditation or hmm. not. But agribusiness management, I think it is nowhere related to ICR accreditation and ICR accreditation is not mandatory for this program. So what all accreditations are required for uh, this program? Uh, see, uh, Midcon has started is, uh, this course in year 2006. Mm -hmm. We are under AICT, All India Council of Technical Education. So as such, we are not affiliated to any university or we are not going for any accreditation. But mm -hmm. nowadays, in, uh, AICT, compul uh, AICT made it compulsory to have the NBA, National Board of Accreditation. Mm -hmm. So we are going for NBA. The reason behind that is NBA is the outcome-based education. So mm -hmm. in agriculture, there is a need of outcome-based education. So we are improving the quality of agribusiness management by mm -hmm. taking such kind of accreditation from the government bodies. Generally, students will be uh, asking about minimum package, average package and highest package, uh, whoever, whoever is going to opt for agribusiness management. And when it comes to Midcon, how much uh, packages and what all industries are coming to recruit students? 
Okay, uh, this is a very good question because the first thing comes in the mind of the student while taking the admission to agri business management course is mm -hmm. what is the package, average package, and the highest package offered by the institute. So we, as a midcon, we are having a huge alumni base. So around 2,500 alumni are working in the industry. Oh. So both in input sector and output sector, the students are working. So because of this huge alumni base, we are well connected with the industry, and our course is industry oriented course. So we are giving them the good internship and mm -hmm. the Final placements. So the companies such as UPL, Syngenta, Sinochem, Corteva, Godrej Agrovet, they mm -hmm. are every year coming to the campus and they are recruiting our students for the final placements. Oh, super. And my final question. So Midcon is having very limited sales. So last year also in 2021-22 academic year also almost you received 1000 applications. So on which criteria you are going to uh, give admissions for the students? Yes, uh, we are the institute, we are having our own selection process. Mm -hmm. We usually follow the performance of the students on the basis of three criteria. Mm -hmm. First is the written communication, second mm -hmm. is the group discussion and the third is the personal interview. Okay. Because we would like to see the candidate, if, if this candidate is good, we can able to place him or her in a good company. So right. we are having this criteria for selection and as per EICT, we are having the criteria of 10, 12, graduation minimum 50% and oh. the student need to appear for any national as well as the state level examination. Oh, superb sir, you gave great information for the students who are looking for agri business management program. Thank you so much, sir. Sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much.